We're breaking news this morning in the town of Clay. A woman in her 20s is in critical condition after being hit by a car last night. Sheriff's deputy is getting the call to Route 31 right near Oswego Road around 1045. Deputies say that the woman was crossing the road but was not in the crosswalk. She was taken to Upstate University Hospital. A motorcyclist is dead after a crash along 481 in Cicero yesterday afternoon. Troopers say 58-year-old Andrew LaFleur of Fulton was heading south on 481 when he lost control of the bike and hit a guardrail just south of the Bear Road exit. He was thrown from the bike and died at the scene. In Oneida County, a 60-year-old man was, is dead after a three-vehicle crash in Whitestown yesterday morning. Deputies say Douglas Atkins of West Winfield crashed into the back of a tractor trailer along Route 233. His pickup then spun out and hit another vehicle. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Witnesses say that the tractor trailer had the green light at the time. Well, state and city tests are officially in, confirming low talk levels of toxins found on Scanny Atlas Lake. Now, health officials say the finished drinking water is clean and safe, but they will continue testing to make sure no harmful toxins build up. Beaches along the lake are now back open. The Western New York congressman facing insider trading charges says he's not backing out of the upcoming midterm election. Representative Chris Collins facing sharp criticism from his Democratic opponent, who says the charges should disqualify him from running. Collins says the charges are meritless and he's going to fight them in open court. In Madison County, one of two antelopes that escaped from a Chenango farm yesterday afternoon have been recaptured. Now, state police tell us that the animals have, were being fed and a gate was accidentally left open, allowing them to get away along Lakeport Road. Investigators want to stress that there is no danger to the public. Still no word yet on the status of that other antelope. Well, Orange fans will need to get used to carrying clear bags and metal detectors at the Carrier Dome for all events and games from now on. Syracuse University announcing a soft rollout will begin on the first home football game. That's September 8th. Diaper bags are okay. Small purses, even clear one gallon resealable plastic bags. But staff say the goal is to deliver a better and quicker experience at the gates so you have a safer environment to enjoy yourself at the Dome. And calling all Orange fans with a flair for design and school spirit. The university is looking for its next Orange Out design. The t-shirts will be sold for the October 20th homecoming game against North Carolina. Fans can submit designs for consideration through September 1st. You can always email teamsu at syr.edu and your designs or send those to Manly Fieldhouse. Kate.